What is up, you awesome kisters? This is Reactor Guys. Today we are going to be playing more Bendy and the Dark Revival. I don't know if this is going to be the finale since this is chapter five and on the Steam achievements list it said they were up to five chapters, but I didn't read like you know any other achievements, so I didn't get spoiled. But um, yeah, five chapters. This is the final one. Here we go. Get our gent pipe. He's gonna try to kill us in the end. Keepers. Ah, beat the shit. The demon's evil continues to spread. This world has begun to shudder. Be quiet. What did you say? Nothing. It was nothing. Hmm, so I guess I have to make a choice here. The subject will stand in the designated location. Jeez. Lethal object detected. The subject will submit all weapons for further screening. Why do you all talk like that? What if I didn't disarm? Well, they ain't letting me through. I thought they were gonna zap me with the things they zap Bendy with. Is that a gun? Oh yeah, wasn't there a gun in the first game? Yo, let me take this gun and blow the glass. The subject is cleared for entry. Wilson, the man who killed the ink demon. Yeah, right. Welcome to the civilized world. How do you like my signal towers? They nullify the ink demon's powers so he cannot pass them. I wish I could say I invented them, but it seems our friends at the Gent Corporation had a demon problem of their own. Oh, what the hell is this over-exaggerated shit? You seen the ink demon shit your pants and then a keeper was like, who are you? And you were like, can you help me? And they're like, sure, whatever, I guess. That's literally what happened. And now, my dear, if you'll excuse me, I have a lot to prepare. We'll talk later, I promise. Besides, you must be very tired. A quick rest will do you good. Betty will show you to your room. She's my housekeeper, among other things. You... Never actually killed the ink demon, did you? What? No, he's too powerful to destroy. So we sealed him away, trapped him in a different form, one that was smaller, harmless. Yeah, that's what the tapes were saying. It was a fitting prison, although he seems to have found a way to free himself. But enough talk. We'll deal with that. Soon enough. There's some nice fresh blankets all laid out for you. You'll be dreaming in no time. Wait, Wilson? One more thing. If you needed my help, why didn't you just ask? Yeah, why'd you try to kill me? Would you have believed me? Come along, and no more dawdling. This way now. Bro, Alice was supposed to save us a long time ago, bro. Why didn't she just stay in place like Alice said? So exciting, finally having you with us. Now, to give you some bearings, we're currently standing in the south wing. Wilson's laboratory is downstairs. And then, there's the north wing. The ink demon got in there a while ago, and ever since, We've had to keep the north wing locked up tight. I'm afraid it's fallen into ruins by now. 
all those juicy, lovely books gone to waste. Only keepers go there these days, and they'll tear you apart limb from limb if Wilson isn't with you. So, mind your distance, and you'll be just fine. Very often I have guests to look after, especially one I can actually talk to. Almost everyone here either can't speak or they're completely mad. All right, here we are. Best room in the house. You should see where I sleep. Ooh. <laughs> but this room, oh, just perfect. I saw to every detail. Bed is clean, the bathroom is on the left. Sorry about the stains. I did try my best to get them out. Did you have any questions? Is it always night here? It's always dark, if that's what you mean. For as long as I can remember. Are you very old? No. As far as I understand it, I'm something quite new. Although, I didn't turn out the way I was supposed to. One in a long line of failed experiments. But so that's why you have a mask? Wilson will keep trying. And do you trust Wilson? <sighs> this is the realm of the ink demon. The shadow hangs over us all. I don't trust anyone. But Wilson takes care of me. Keeps me safe. He once said I remind him of something he called his mother. Tell me, is that a good thing, where you two are from? I'm not sure. I don't think I ever had one. Dang. Well, no matter. Now, I, I was told to make sure you get some sleep once you got here. So get nice and comfy and relax. I left something on the table that might just help you nod off. It's my own recipe. Works very fast. Just follow the instructions. Carefully. Thanks, Betty. Of course. If you need anything else, I'll come straight away. I'm always up. Pinch of salt, coca powder. What did that say? Chamomile? Soybeans? Gilson. What's a Gilson? Mix everything in a glass and then drink with exactly three sips of water. So we're gonna definitely give that to Wilson, right? Am I sitting on a toilet? It flushed. Wilson fish. So I'm looking for a fish. Maybe if it was closer. That did it. Looks like the fish is asleep. I'm still very concerned because. Get away from me, you little stinker. <clears throat> uh, hello. I. Uh... Oh, I forgot the Gilson again, didn't I? And there's some already ground up in the kitchen, too. Uh, I'll be, uh, I'll, I'll bring it up to your room straight away, shall I? <laughs> oh, and uh, maybe you could put Harold back in his tank. He does so hate the dry air. <laughs> He's really gonna take this, huh? Now, just three sips of water. One. Two. Three. And now you're incapacitated. <gasps> that was Alice Angel.
I, I mean, like, I, I can't be very surprised. I mean, Alice Angel, I mean, like, yeah, I wasn't really expecting her, but, like, yeah, you really about to take something that... You really gonna take something from the butler of your enemy? <clears throat> now we about to get tortured. Oh my god, Alice Angel's fire. I understand. It's not every day one gets to bask in the glory. Angel. Angel. Alice Angel. To be exact. That's who I am. A sense from above. Impending perfection. What do you want? To the chase. I like that. The truth is, huh? You're one of a kind. And to put it bluntly, what I want is your face removed. Your oh, she wants to steal my face. Like paper, and your insides torn out and tossed onto my table. Custom parts ready for my delicious harvest. And with your generous sacrifice. I'll be beautiful. But for now, let's have fun. Plenty of time for a bloodbath later. Ooh, how about a game? Let's all play a game of riddles. Riddles? Oh, what a wonderful idea. The hell? No. Hmm. All right, honey. Here's the deal. Behind you is the door to freedom, but it will only be opened if you solve my little puzzle and return to your special chair. Then I'll throw this heavenly switch here. If you get the puzzle right, you walk away. Get it wrong, you fry. Let's begin. The bird won't have anything to do with the rabbit, but I hear he likes to court danger by sitting next to the fox. The fox thinks the rabbit smells of elderberry. I couldn't see them sitting together. The fox has always hated the bear. They never sit next to each other. The rabbit never sits with the bird, but he loves to play the company of the bear. The pompous fox? Well, he, he wouldn't be caught dead sitting on the left. Far too pedestrian. My friend the bear always sits next to the bird. After all, they went to school together. Ah, shit. Okay. The bear, uh, loves being next to the bird. The fox will never get caught dead next to the bear. What did the monkey do? I'm so gonna get fried in the electric chair. Hold on tight, honey. Here it comes. Three, two, one. Don't give up yet. How about another? Okay, the bird is next to the fox but hates the rabbit. The fox is never on the left. The bird is next to the fox but hates the rabbit. The bear is always next to the bird. This might be it. Hold on tight, honey. Here it comes. Three, two, one. Ha! Got you, bitch! Couldn't get me all those years ago, couldn't get me now. It was a good try, though. Smoothie. Nobody likes a 
for Pooper. So she's not done yet. Oh, shit! Come on, man. She's got a huge ego. And a fucking gun at that! Nah, cause I'm gonna steal that gun. I can still fix her, guys. I can still fix her. Nowhere where you can see me. Sorry, Alice, but nobody's afraid of you. Ah, I'm sorry. Now, see, if you turned yourself into a huge ink monster... Maybe, but like, no one's scared of you, bro. What, you got a gun? Sorry, I, 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 I think being hit by a fucking ball of ink or a goddamn piece of wood from these other ink monsters hurts more than a bullet somehow. So, I, I mean, like, I, 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 I ain't tripping. I'm not really afraid. No. Oh, oh, no, you got me low. It's like I gotta eat food. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, Alice, but it, it just doesn't work. No. I, I fought tougher, man. Seriously. Security cameras? Are you serious, Audrey? Audrey, come on now. Use your other hand to deter the gun. Final curtain, baby. Let's blow them away. the other one my face you have my face it's our face beautiful always were Now see, was that Alice from Henry's? Does this feel so familiar? It feels so familiar because... Oh, wait, I think... I keep forgetting this. I think this is, like, set in a different universe, so... Um... I was thinking that that was the Alice from Henry's cycle, but then again, it can't be. Because... She died in that one, and I think the same person helped kill her. The other Alice. I cannot begin to tell you how good it is And speaking of which, where have you been?! And this Boris, the battle hardened warrior, Audrey, by the looks of it. He's got an iron arm. He's my protector. My friend. You both got here just in time. Now I understand why you don't like being called Alice. The machine creates many of the same forms. At least on the outside. On the inside, we're all pretty different. Well, can I banish her for on, health, please? I'm gonna call you something other than Alice. It just doesn't suit you. Oh? What do you have in mind? How about... Allison? It's not bad. Okay, I'll try it out. But, only if you can tell me what in heaven's name you're doing in Wilson's retreat. Wilson, I almost forgot. I have to get back right away. Are you crazy? Wilson's our enemy. Do you even know him? Have you ever talked to him? I've seen what Do you done. even know him? That's good enough for me. Look, it sounds like he has a plan to kill the ink demon. For good. And I think he can help us all. I just... I just need to go back and hear him out. Well, if it's true, 
You'll both need as much help as you can get. The Ink Demon won't go down without a fight. Tom and I will gather some of our friends. Tom. Anyone who's left. Good luck, Audrey. You too, Allison. Mind if I take this? No, I want it. Wait a second. You can pet Boris. That's awesome. Keepers. This music box could make a good distraction if I can fix it. You gotta be shitting me, right? Get the fuck out of here. Okay, so apparently what you're supposed to do is get right here. So you can walk there without it uh, making you fall. You just open the door. Ooh. That's all the pieces for the music box. Now I gotta go all the way back. Like, I'm actually going to lose it, y'all, with these fucking keepers. Like, they're, they're like the most annoying shit ever. They move slow as hell when you try to sneak past them, but then when they see you, they want to turn on the fucking stimmy. Fixed. Now I just need to find a good place to put it. You know what, y'all, I'm going to take a break in the middle of recording to uh, catch my breath before I get way too tilted with this game. All right, if you guys want more Benny and Ink Machine, hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe for more to Kister today, and I'll see y'all later. Peace out.